Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's Jocelyn. I'm back with another video. And as for the title, I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys a little bit about Sadie, which is my little schnauzer that I got a couple months ago. She just turned, I think she's going to be, no, yeah, she's definitely going to be five months. Um, and I'm just here with her. This is actually her right here. So I thought it was just time for an update regarding my experience owning a schnauzer, um, what it's been like, like her personality. Um, there's been a couple issues that have come up with her and I've had to take her to the emergency hospital or like pet hospital. So that's been like, I just want to cover these things with you guys. If you are interested in getting a schnauzer and you're looking for more information regarding them then keep watching this video and i'll do my best to answer them for you guys so i did do a video um when i got her i actually got her with her brother at the time i if you go i'll try to link it up here in the little um top corner but i pretty much got two schnauzers i knew for a fact i was going to keep the girl and resell her little brother. At the time, I had to drive all the way to Calexico actually, and I'm from Santa Barbara, so that was quite a drive. But I had gotten them for a really good price. Um, and I found a really good home for her little brother, and I've seen a couple videos that my friend has sent me regarding the brother and he's so cute i really want to see him and reunite them both and i think that's gonna be super good for her so ever since i got sadie it's been like one of the best decisions that i've ever made i knew that i always wanted a schnauzer and originally we had gotten her because i wanted Bella, which is my emotional support animal. I have a video of her as well, but this video is about Sadie. Um, and I didn't want her to be alone most of the time. Like when my husband and I are going out or we're at work, um, I just hated seeing that she was alone and she'd start howling and she'd kind of, you know, do her little tantrums. And ever since getting Sadie, um, we have not seen any of that lately. Like she. She's completely calm to know that there's somebody or I guess another <laughs> pet there with her. So far what I've noticed is that she weighs the exact same as Bella and she has grown a little bit bigger than Bella. And I don't know how much more she's going to grow but I know for a fact that she's not going to grow that big. She currently does weigh about 13 pounds. She's a little chubby on the little chubby side but that's okay the doctor said that she looks healthy and normal um and if you guys as if some of you guys have seen bella she is not that big at all she's the cutest thing in the world and a schnauzer is a dog breed that was originated in germany by the way just a little fyi and they're known for having like their long mustache and very short coat and then they have like a longer coat from their like legs down. They also have these super cute long eyelashes. Like I'm just so surprised how long they are. Sadie has like these, they're like, they're prettier than mine. It's so crazy. I don't know if you guys can see her long eyelashes. Let me see if I can. You guys see those lashes? Oh my goodness. Her eyelashes are literally so long. Look at the lashes. And I don't want to necessarily neuter or spay uh, Sadie anytime soon. I do want her to have a litter of puppies first. I think that's going to be really cute. I wish I would have done that with Bella. Um, but I think just at the time, I didn't necessarily want her to have a litter. Hey, Sadie. Hey. Hey. Be nice, please. So this is Sadie. Oh, you're gonna be so cute. <laughs> she kind of needs a haircut right now, but this is her. But she is currently in that teething stage, so I've been, you see, she's like, <laughs> she doesn't bite hard. I, she used to. She used to bite like everybody and everything, and it would hurt her with her sharp little teeth, but now she, I kind of just trained her to, you know, that that's not okay, and 
to be more gentle when it comes to biting. Um, I did have to watch like a bunch of videos on how go to how to go about it. So I want to show you guys a couple tricks that I had taught her because she's very well behaved and she loves it. She loves to go outside in the patio and just kind of do her thing and you know play around. Okay, okay, I'll give you some treats. You want to show everybody what you can do? Oh my god. Alright, she's a little excited right now because of the treats. These are the treats that I got her. I got these at Marshall's and uh, they're trained me, I don't even know, they're like five bucks. <laughs> but Bella and Sadie love these. Come on, hey. Come here. Okay, sit. Lie down. Oh, good baby. There you go. So that is something that I've been teaching her and she's just been super excited. Hey. Chill. Lie down. <laughs> There you go, and I'm gonna give one to Bella because she's a good pup anyways. Um, what's wrong? There's no more. There's no more, I'm sorry. She's like, yeah, there is. You can't have any more. Another thing is that I taught her how to be very patient when it comes to feeding time. Uh, in the beginning, what she would actually do is she'd just wanna run towards the food and she would like go crazy. And then she would actually also bother Bella after she was done eating. Um, she wouldn't let Bella eat. She wouldn't give her space. And she was just very, very rude, I guess. So, here, here are my babies. Look at her. She, just, she wants her food. All right. Hey, wait. Wait. So yeah, this is pretty much, <laughs> there's not much to it, but this is Sadie. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update on, just wanted to give you guys a quick little update on my experience after getting Sadie. And if you watched the first video, you guys had seen uh, what it was like and what she looked like when she was a puppy. Oh, and there was an issue that had occurred. Sadie tends to put everything in her mouth. She loves to chew up sticks. She loves to, you know, eat my hair. <laughs> oh my gosh. She literally, she love, of course, like most dogs, love grass. Um, she loves to play fetch. But the fact that she puts everything in her mouth, of course, can be dangerous. You need to be careful. And occasionally she would um, cough up. She's like a cat. She would cough up like these these like balls of like I don't even know what it was it's literally a ball and it had like hair it had sticks it had like grass and I don't even know it was like what the heck this is so weird and um after a while it kind of just like went away because I did have to keep my eye on her and make sure that she you know wasn't just putting anything in her mouth so with her putting everything in her mouth she actually wants like A to B and I was just freaking out. I had no clue she did until after. And I had noticed that her her nose looked huge to me. And I was just like, what the heck? She looks so weird or like different. I don't know. So I got a closer look. And I saw she kind of like tilted her head up. And her entire top lip was swollen. Like, you guys, I was freaking out. Like, I was just shaking. And I was I went on my phone and I looked up um like vet hospitals near me because i recently just moved and i had no clue um where the nearest one would be and i guess you know her lip was kind of like her top lip was literally like lifted like it was like this and she was just like swollen <laughs> and i wish i had gotten a picture but unfortunately I didn't it was really hard to too because she was just kept moving um, but yeah, pretty much you really need to be careful as to what your dogs are putting in their mouth and, um, and Bella had never, I never had that issue with Bella. She's a miniature, uh, she's a multi-poo. So Bella never, you know, had the habit of just like putting anything in her mouth. She'd just play with toys. So as soon as I found a vet, um, that can take her. It was literally 10 in the, or it was literally 10, like 10.30 at night. And I called um, the Horizon 
pet hospital and thankfully they said come on in we'll help you and the only thing that was going through my mind i was just so scared that maybe she couldn't breathe through her nose and that maybe it, it would like clog up her like throat and she wouldn't be able to breathe i don't know but she seemed she seemed fine she wasn't in pain but i was just like freaking out you know as a dog mom you you know of course i want to be extra careful and you're concerned but we got there and they gave her some medication to calm the swelling and then after uh, they gave her back to me and I think the total was about $100 for bringing her in and like the medication and stuff. So um, yeah, if you don't take care of your dog, it can be pricey. <laughs> and there, she's over here trying to get the food that I put over here. So that's been my experience on having a schnauzer in the house and I hope this helps you guys make your choice whether you want a schnauzer or not they are really like such a blessing and i definitely recommend if you're looking for like hyperallergenic dog they do not shed at all like i definitely recommend getting a schnauzer as long as you maintain their coat and keep their top coat uh thin then you won't have that problem they're very easy to maintain if you guys have any other questions for me just let me know message me or put them in the comments below and i will definitely answer them and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already but i will just see you guys in my next video bye guys